Yeah, man. You know, there's a... It's always been that riff between uh, what we call gangster rap or, you know, what you could call decadent rap. It's not always gangster, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's just uh, bass and low vibrational, you know. But uh, there's always been that riff between that style of hip-hop and the conscious hip-hop. Now, obviously... When it comes to rap, there are lanes other than gangster and conscious, right? You got Drake don't fall into either of those categories. Tyler, the creator, don't fall into either of those categories. Eminem don't fall into either of them goddamn categories. You understand? But nonetheless, you know, there's always been that riff between the gangster hip hop and the conscious. Now, this riff hasn't been between the actual rappers. It's just always been that debate, you know, within the culture. Right, we all oh, this gangster rap is destructive, and the the conscious rap is productive and beneficial, and so forth. You know, you got the Nas versus the Snoop Dogg, uh, the Lupe Fiasco versus I don't know what Two Chains, uh, Most Def versus a YG. You know, I'm, I'm mixing all these rappers up; they all in different eras. But y'all get what I'm saying? These rappers that fall into those two sides. Of the spectrum, man. And I think one thing, man, that we have never acknowledged in this debate that I, I feel like I'm the only person who says this, man, is post NWA Ice Cube, man. The first three albums, man. America's Most Wanted, well, four Death Certificate, The Predator, and Lethal Injection, man. Ice Cube. Is the only rapper, in my opinion, well, there's one more. I'll talk about him later. Ice Cube is the only rapper, in my opinion, who combined both those worlds. The gangster uh, with the conscious, right? Because, you know, post post uh, NWA Ice Cube, he was kind of, you know, into some of the Nation of Islam stuff and whatnot. And uh, Ice Cube was able to bring a gangster sound, a hard sound, that you would typically associate with, you know, a Dr. Dre or, you know, N.W.A. or something. Not saying he sounded like them, just saying that hard, that hard West Coast sound, even though a lot of that shit was produced by the Bomb Squad, who was East Coast. But nonetheless, it was a hard, you know, West Coast style and sound, right? But he was actually rapping social commentary, uh, conscious, intelligent, and product- productive lyrics over it. You understand? And on top of that, you know, Ice Cube always had a, a hard rap style. You know what I'm saying? He L.A., you know, N.W.A. bass, right? So he's able to take all that flavor, but uh, rap some different subject matter over it, right? So now, you know, you can get that feeling and nod your head, you know, you, like you're getting some, you know, some Los Angeles West Coast gangster bump. Without it necessarily being negative, uh, foul, and destructive. You know, fuck a bitch, you know, kill a nigga, fuck a bitch, gang bang, crit blood, sell a drug. You know what I mean? And I think Ice Cube is the only rapper who combined, I think Ice Cube is the only rapper who combined the gangster with the conscious and made one product where you can get both. You know what I mean? You got songs like Us. You got songs like I Want to Kill Sam. I prefer to Uncle Sam. You got songs like True to the Game. And a bunch of other songs that I can't think of. Off the top of my head, man. You know, we had to tear this motherfucker down. What other songs is it off the top of my head, man? You know. Where he actually going in on some shit, man. Y'all can, y'all can check them songs out for yourselves. You're not into that. I know some of y'all thinking, ah, oh, man, this fool Chris is old, man. Chris acting like an old head, da 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 talking about some Ice Cube. Why is rap the only genre where you, like, it ain't cool to listen to the old shit? Other than Tupac and Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers make fun of you because you like some old shit. I be knowing new shit, but I go back and listen to old shit, too. You know? Ice Cube is actually before my time. I was a, I was a baby when all that shit was out. You know, but, you know, uh, I got older and went back and listened to all of it, man. I'm like, yo, I realized this when I was younger. This is the only fool 
who's able to, 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 who's able to combine the worlds of the gangster and uh, the conscious and make a single product out of it, man. And nobody else did that, you see? Because the argument a lot of people have about conscious hip-hop is that it's boring. Right? That's not me. That's just, that's, just, that's just a lot of people's opinions. These people aren't stupid, for the most part. I'm sure some of them are. These people ain't stupid. The, the, the subject matter don't go over their heads. It's just that, you know, J. Cole was wildly successful. Don't get me wrong. But J. Cole is also boring to a lot of people. Right? Uh, <clears throat> I love Nas. I love who he is. I love what he is to the culture. I love what he is to hip-hop. But, you know, Nas is boring. To a lot of people, you know, a most deaf is boring to a lot of people because it's, it's not the, the music is not packaged in a way that they are. Uh, the, the, the music is not packaged in a way that it connects to them. You know, this is me included, you know. Um, but Ice Cube was the only one to be able to deliver some of these more conscious messages. In the uh, in a package that I can connect to. Right? Y'all gonna laugh at me. Ice-T was another one, man. Ice-T was able to have, you know, kind of a cold gangster vibe, but actually spit some productive lyrics over it. I know y'all gonna laugh at that too, man. Ice-T was cold, man. He had, you know, Mind Over Matter was a good one. A bunch of other songs too, man. Ice-T was another one, man. But mainly Ice Cube was able to combine uh, the gangster vibe and the conscious shit and create a single sound. Ain't nobody else doing, ain't nobody else done that to me, man. And I feel like I'm the only person who acknowledges it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Suck my balls. <laughs>